Hello everyone. Today a uh, super quick and simple snack that I dearly love because there's a beautiful story behind so it's story time. In 1997 I traveled through this northern and the south part of India and uh, I met this amazing Japanese couple and we remain friends up until today. And in some point we had to go out, leave India to renew our visas. So all of us decided, okay, we're gonna go to Kathmandu and just hang out there a bit. And they were like really, really excited of going to see uh, some Nepalese people that uh, prepare miso. So today everything is about uh, miso and what you can do with it. So I prepared just for an example, four different kinds. So the first two is the regular type that you can find in stores. Unfortunately, they all packed in plastic, but sometimes this is not avoidable. And they're usually a bit harder. Yeah, so in this case, the easiest way, you add a tiny bit of warm water and you just let it sit and use a spoon to make it soft. So I'm trying to um, teach you recipes that actually don't have many ingredients and as for the miso paste it's already very very salty so, so if you like salt and you simply satisfied in eating that as a snack you don't need to add anything more but if you like to give it a little twist you may add some lemon or mirin, rice uh, wine vinegar or you can also just um, add some sesame whatever um, makes you happy so you see if you add just a little bit water it becomes more um, like a it becomes more like a liquid so these are is a medium uh, color one that's a typical one that we use for making miso soups like my most favorite in fact but recently I have been using a lot, a mixture of um, the Akka, the red miso, and that goes into my um, organic uh, macrobiotic uh, uh, root soup, which I got a beautiful recipe of another Japanese friend of mine. But my top favorite, and this is what you actually should be looking for, is organic homemade uh, miso so you can already tell yeah it's super super soft and just amazing to look at so uh, so when I was traveling these two just had cucumbers in their backpack and they would simply cut off little cucumber slices and then prepare a plate or not even prepare a plate simply throw them into a little ball or on a tray and then uh, they just take a little bit of uh, miso paste on each and they eat it as a snack. The other way, so that would be the most easy possibility for you. And the other way, and that's what my boys very much love, you take your cucumber and I'm lazy, so I got actually for almost nothing that um, French fries putter machine, which is second hand and broken, but it still works. So you take your cucumbers and let's see, yeah, all going through, and then you can just put it into a glass, and that looks amazing on your table or just as in a party. And then you have a little glass and you dip your miso in there. And if you are traveling, and that's what we did yesterday, so this is one part of what I'm going to show you. I'm gonna make a complete video of what to pack in your raw vegan bento box. So yesterday, I was just so excited when I was in Yokohama. I totally forgot to actually film and take photos but this is my favorite summer snack. So I have 
my bento and there is really nothing more inside than on one side the cucumbers and in a tiny box and that is the beauty of it you don't need much look this is like a teaspoon and then you know either you're lazy you can just add a little bit water and then stir it and then just pour it over the cucumbers yeah or you pick up each cucumber and just dip it in there so whatever is your preference it works and it's super 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 refreshing oh my god this is so good okay so i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'm gonna be back i'm, I'm gonna make a series of uh, little videos today and then i'm gonna wrap them all up into uh, what to pack into your bento box have a super nice day enjoy the heat outside in tokyo and enjoy your day wherever you are bye